I get this question a lot. How can you change the look of my reflections? So today I'll show you how a couple tips and tricks when using environment maps. First, you can modify existing maps in an editing program like Photoshop, or you can search for new maps and just download them and put in your maps folder. If you have other CAD programs that contain environment maps, you can copy those files into your maps folder as well. First, let's take a look at Photoshop and I'll modify a map. So I'm gonna go over to Photoshop, and I'm going to open up one of the standard reflections in here in this metal brush texture. And it provides a kind of a nice metal looking finish, but I want to make it look a little bit more brassy. So I'm going to modify the map. I'm going to select the whole thing and do a color correction on here. So I'm going to do a hue saturation. I'll colorize it. Change the hue a little bit, make it a little bit brassy. Maybe kick up the saturation a little bit and hit OK. I'm going to save this back into my maps folder and we'll call this mesh brittle folder bat brass. Say that three times fast. Now because it won't let me actually save right to this folder I'll get this warning. Don't have administrator privileges. Would like to save to my pictures folder instead. I'll just go yes. So metal brush brass into my pictures. And then I'll go ahead and copy that folder into my maps folder. So my pictures, I'll open a new window. And I'll take this brass and just drop it in here. And it says I need administrative bridges, but I got them. So now we've got the metal brush brass. And now I'll jump into Composer and show you how we can apply this texture first. So there's a couple tricks that you need to know. So right now you can see this part does have a metal brush texture on here and the map path is going to the metal brush JPEG, which was this one. I'm just gonna choose the brass one and now we can see it looks a little bit more brassy. Now there's a couple of bugs that um, you have to be aware of. So let me change this back first. If I want to change multiple things at the same time, like if I just select all these, do environment map metal brushed and change it to brass, you can see only one of them applied. So to get around it, you have to do one at a time. And now you can see, actually see this isn't, didn't show up like that. So let me go back. I'll change it to something else first. Then change it to metal brushed. And change the texture map. And now they're both that metal brush texture. So that's a little workaround that you have to do. Uh, unfortunately, it's necessary sometimes. But there at least there's a way around it. Generally ones that work best are these types of reflections that have a black border around them. I did a search for environment maps in Google Images and I just got a ton of them so you can use any of these kinds of things. There's already some of them in there but play around with it a little bit and you'll see some interesting results that you can get with these environment maps. Again I could map on this if I wanted to but it would look kind of funny and also some maps that aren't round like this you'll have kind of weird edges and seams during the reflection. So these seem to work pretty good. So this is a standard plastic reflection map. And I can see it's got a real bright hot spot here. And it's kind of dull, kind of, kind of boring on here. That's the acrylic pl plastic texture. But I'm just going to change that plastic map and choose the new plastic. I called it New Plastic 3 because I was experimenting around a little bit. And now you can see it's got a little bit more detail in the reflections. I've got some, some different streaks going through here. Some Just some little bit of interest happening here where it was just a dull white spot before. So changing your environment maps can really help tweak your images a little bit. So there's just a, a couple of quick tips about environment maps. Hope it helps. Thanks.